All right, 2,500 miles away in San Francisco is where Eddie DeBartolo Jr. built his football legacy, but his family name lives on right here in Youngstown. 27 First News reporter Tyler Trill live in studio with more on what the family's name means right here in the Valley. Hey, Tyler. Good evening, Julie. A 1964 graduate of Cardinal Mooney High School, Eddie DeBartolo Jr. took over the 49, 49ers franchise in 1977. And even though he no longer calls the Valley his home, the family name can still be seen throughout. Opened in 1970, the Southern Park Mall was built and owned by the Edward J. DeBartlow Corporation. Take a trip across town to Youngstown State University, you'll see the DeBartlow name again. The hall is six stories and home to YSU's economics, philosophy, and religious studies. And here on Market Street in Borden, where the Edward J. DeBartlow building is, and every time you drive by, you're reminded there's a little bit of San Francisco here in Youngstown. Uh, Eddie has been the face of the 49ers for... Uh, a long part of the history and many of the winning seasons. And John York so is co-chairman of the San Francisco 49ers, and he's also Eddie DeBartlow's brother-in-law. He says DeBartlow's selection to the Hall of Fame is a joy for more than just the family. It would be a great time of joy for the 49ers players and coaches as well as the fans. Even though DeBartlow's career with the 49ers is over, Youngstown is still a part of the organization. Eddie's nephew, Jed York, also a Mooney grad, now owns the team. Vice President of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Joe Horrigan, says keeping the family name alive is important for the league. How important it is to have that transition of ownership from one generation to the next to keep that legacy alive and to keep the, the character of the league alive. That's critical. That really is critical to the success of this league. Now the official Hall of Fame enshrinement will be on August 6th in Canton. Tyler Trill, WKBN 27 First News at 10. Julie. All right, Tyler, thanks so much.